Are you sick of government lackeys who say you didn't build that? Are you tired of elitists who think you need a government permission slip for everything? Everything you do is an A to B conversation and the government should see their way out of it. Create true free markets by adopting the BIPCOT No Government License. The BIPCOT NoGov license allows use or modification of any product, service, or software except by governments or government agents. Go to BIPCOT.org. That's Bravo, India, Papa, Charlie, Oscar, Tango.org. We are just some modern-day abolitionists looking to rid the world of the last vestige of slavery, statism. It's the Seeds of Liberty podcast with Andre, Dave, and Jeremy. Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Unfortunately, we do not have a show for you this week. But unlike in the past where we have kind of just left you hanging and all of a sudden Monday came and there was no show, I wanted to make sure that we didn't do that again. So that's why I'm recording this right now. So at least you folks are uh, aware of what's going on. And uh, I thank you for your patience, but uh, we will be back next week. Uh, Unfortunately, Dave had a last minute farming emergency this week, so he wasn't going to be available We didn't have any guests scheduled because the three of us were actually going to sit down and give our thoughts on the recent school shooting in Florida. But with just Andre and I, you know, and Andre being busy, I had some stuff going on too. I had people coming to see my house uh, because it's been being shown lately because I'm still trying to get the heck out of here. Uh, It was just a crazy night. And since we've kind of remained on the same schedule for a very long time, We just decided to put it off this week, but like I said, we will return next week. Uh, I'm not sure about a guest just yet, but we are working on that. We did mention during our State of the Seed show, uh, the first episode this year, that we were going to try to get back to having guests on a more regular basis because we know we had kind of slacked off at the end of last year with doing that. And we've tried to bring you some interesting conversations so far. Uh, We do have a couple of people lined up. We're just trying to work out the scheduling right now because unfortunately, even though it's convenient for us to have a weekly scheduled podcast at a particular time, it's not always easy for our guests, but we are working on that. We have, I'm currently in talks with at least three or four people. I'm just trying to set up dates. So hopefully that will, uh, that that'll be taken care of real soon and we'll be able to bring you some more great content. Uh, As far as the school shooting itself, I mean, by the time we put out another episode, it's going to be a couple weeks removed. We may end up touching on it. We may not. Uh, If you want to get my, you know, my views on the situation, if you haven't listened to it already, the most recent episode of Abolitionist Abstractions, which came out uh, about a week ago, once this actually, or almost a week, once once this actually hits the uh, hits the air and you guys are able to hear it. Uh, If you haven't caught that yet, uh, you may want to consider going to listen to that. I had a conversation with former guest and actually fill in host for us a couple of times, our our friend Bodie, Andrew Marich, and him him and I actually did a live stream on DLive where we discussed the whole, you know, our our thoughts on the situation. I I thought that we gave a kind of a different take than you might hear from some libertarians, uh, or anarchists, you know, uh, you know, the, the title of course of the show was, was, uh, specifically provocative. Of course, uh, we titled it, uh, fuck the NRA and we barely touched on that only mentioned it at the end, but it really all started because Bodhi had written a piece for steam it that I read and I, I really thought was kind of interesting and it was a different perspective. So I, I wanted to get his thoughts on that. And so anyway, if, if you haven't checked that out yet, please consider doing so. And uh, of course, if you haven't checked out any of the abolitionist abstractions episodes, there's now, I think 23 of them. So yeah, go check those out. But th- those are, those are some of my thoughts there. And like I said, Come next week, we may still talk about it. Who knows? I'm sure there'll be more news going on. We might have a guest lined up. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so like I said, I just wanted to give you guys, a, you know, basically a little placeholder here, but I am really trying to make a concentrated effort to make this show as good as possible. 
you know, we, we had mentioned earlier this year that, you know, we recognized that we kind of screwed up last year. We kind of got lazy and the numbers reflected that. But thanks to you, our hardcore fans who have stuck with us through all this stuff, we're going to keep trugging along because as we've mentioned numerous times, this was never about the money or the fame for us. This was just, just trying to put out a consistent message. And although our message may not always be consistent because the three of us disagree on some things, you know, we're trying to, uh, we're trying to put quality content out there and let other people know that they're not alone. Cause you know, almost three years into this, we still get, I, st I still get contacted. Uh, the other guys have mentioned it to me too, but you know, I still get contacted by people who just found us and thank us for what we're doing. And they just started listening. So there's always new people out there, people who are coming to these ideas and especially with how much more horrible the status world continues to get around us and everybody talking about more laws and more regulations and more safety well there needs to be as many voices of freedom out there as possible so we are just happy to play our small part in that but i think that's a uh, that's about all for now so once again thank you everybody for your continued support uh i, I do apologize for the lack of of episode this week but i did just want to speak to you folks and let you know what's going on and let you know that we are planning to keep trucking along and bring you some more great guests and some more interesting insights and uh yeah thanks everybody well we'll catch you next week peace Cell 411 is a great free app for Android and iPhone. It allows you to set up public and private cells for dealing with crime, emergencies, setting up neighborhood watch, activism, and even protecting your kids from bullies on the street or at school. Cell 411 gives your cells turn-by-turn -turn directions to your location with one touch on your phone. There is also a Bluetooth panic button available that can be worn on your wrist, belt, or around your neck. Cell 411 has real-time chat for each alert so you can discuss the incident with family or friends in real-time video streaming. The video is stored on Cell 411's servers so your evidence cannot be deleted if your phone is taken or destroyed. Cell 411 has decentralized ride-sharing that allows for payment in any form – crypto, barter, silver, cash, etc. Cell 411 does not take a cut of your fare. Get Cell 411 free on Google Play and the iTunes Store. Or go to GetCell411.com. That's GetCell411.com.